Hello, everyone. Thank you for visiting Class NK YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Toshiro Arima, and Corporate Officer of Class NK. And uh, I'm in charge of uh, Class NK Digital Transformation Center. Uh, today, I would like to introduce Class NK Digital Grand Design 2030. This design was drawn by the Digital Transformation Center with a focus on how NK can contribute to the maritime industry for the next 10 years. The drawing of the design was mainly prepared by the younger colleagues of A. That's why today I'd like to introduce one of them. Dr. Kimura, please. Today we explain the detail of this design. Although I'd like to continue to speak, but this is a good opportunity to use digital tools. So from next slide, the AI voice will take over for me. So let's get to start it. This is the Class NK Digital Grand Design 2030 which is published on last February. The design is a picture of what we should be in 2030, and represents our long-term goals. In this video, we'd like to explain the background of the design and its contents as much detail as possible. If you want to know what is Class NK, you can get more information from videos on the website or YouTube channel. This is the content of this video. We would like to introduce this design following the table of contents shown on this slide. First of all, we would like to explain why we decided to develop the digital grand design, and what kind of considerations we made in developing it. Secondly, we will explain the digital grand design itself, in the order of a basic policy, an overall structure, and a content outline. Finally, we would like to summarize today's presentation, and briefly introduce the roadmap, that we are currently developing to realize the design. So, let's start from the topic of, why we are paying attention to digital. We think digital technology is the key tool, to answer the social needs of sustainability and environmental problems. As many of you already know, the SDGs is a generic term for the 17 international goals that governments and companies must achieve by 2030, to realize a sustainable and better world. In the field of investments, ESG investment has become a widespread practice, and has become an issue that organizations and companies cannot avoid. We also want to support not only players in the maritime industry, but also more players in society to develop their businesses to meet their needs. This slide shows a rough mapping of each of our business and each of the SDGs. We believe that digital technologies and digital transformations are useful tools for us and involved players to achieve the goals. So, the design and the roadmap are parts of our efforts to the SDGs. Now let's see how digital technologies and digital transformations will change our business. From here, we would like to introduce our consideration about changes in maritime industries, from the perspective of digital technology. As you see on this slide, we provide services to three fields of this industry, that shipbuilding, marine transportation, and insurance. Through such activities, we have supported maritime industries to function fairly and smoothly, while achieving to protect environments and human lives. Of course, we keep this basic policy. But on the other hand, through the penetration of digital technology like data sharing, new value has been created by a collaboration between different players. Besides, from the perspective of meeting the social needs of SDGs management, and ESG investment, such penetration is accelerating because it is effective for risk managements and evaluations using various indicators. That trend is steadily expanding in the maritime industry. This is a diagram which has illustrated our prospect that he will be related to us in the future. First, we will be connected not only shipbuilders or transporters, but also wider transportation players, like shippers and forwarders. Next, new players like system integrators, and digital forwarders will be added. We think the range of involved players will expand, compared to the conventional maritime industries, and new players will join. So, we must change itself for that new world. What do we need to change? We considered it from a perspective of the needs of the new world, which explained in previous slides. That needs can be summarized in four points. First, assurance of data quality. Various types of data, like ship monitoring data, are already shared, 
and new trials or challenges has been already underway, such as the evaluation of machinery conditions using those data. In such data utilization, reliability and quality of data are very important. Of course, there is various way to assure reliability and quality. However, we believe it is most reasonable, that an independent third party evaluate and guarantee that reliability, and that needs will increase. The second one is the guarantee for functions, not limited to software or hardware. Today, new software functions like fuel consumption by voyage optimizations, are being created one after another. Even if that function is valuable, it is not easy to extend because no one knows its concrete values or benefits. In such a case, we believe if a third party properly evaluates and certifies the quality, it will reduce concerns not only from the user side, but also from the provider side, and it will be possible to provide it at an appropriate price. The third one is the needs for the development of rules or regulations to make it easier to introduce new technologies. Sufficient verifications and guarantees are required to introduce new technologies or mechanisms. On the other hand, especially for digital technologies, there is a big advantage that the cycle from the implementation to review of the result can be very short. However, we have concern that implementation would be delayed by obstructions of regulations and rules, even if it is technically possible to carry out a practical verification in a short time. Not only as a third-party organization, but we also play a role in establishing and abolishing the rules that necessary to ensure fairness and transparency. We believe that establishing rules and regulations for new technologies with the government at an early stage, it becomes a strong backup to utilize new technologies in the real world without delay. The last one is the need for an accurate and rational evaluation and rating information. The Classification Society has evaluated ships and organizations, following the rules and international conventions, and has provided such information widely. But the appearance of new players or increasing of collaborations with different players, there are growing needs to widen the field and a type of an evaluating and rating information do not depend only on rules and conventions. A private rating company has appeared, and they are beginning to provide information that we did not. We have a know-how of the quantitative and accurate evaluations through activities of inspections and certifications. So we believe we can respond to those needs quickly by utilizing our knowledge and techniques. These are four points of new needs of the digital transformation, and what we can contribute to them. From the next slide, we introduce the detail of the design. In the beginning, we will explain the fundamental policy of the design. There are three points. As you see in previous slides, we have considered about new needs of digital transformation and our contributions. The three points of the fundamental policy came from those considerations. First one is a further improvement of inspection technologies and evaluation qualities. By past activities, we have accumulated the know-how to evaluate hardware and software quantitatively and properly. All needs that shown in previous slides require abilities of correct evaluations. Such abilities are indispensable in the future so we will be eager to introduce latest technologies and maintain our technical capabilities at the highest level. We will also reflect new knowledge and technologies in the services we provide as needed, and evolve them into more advanced and rational forms. The second one is diversification of certifications and expansion of target areas. As I mentioned, new functions and values are being realized one after another by utilizing data and the need for certification by third parties beyond regulations and conventions have grown. Also it is necessary to support a wide range of fields than conventional maritime industries by linking various players because of the expanding of data sharing. Therefore we will continue to diversify and expand its certification business by not only judging compliance with existing regulations and conventions, but also by certifying the functions themselves and providing multiple levels of rating within those functions. Currently, the target range of our business is still mainly in the maritime industry, but we will gradually expand it to meet wider needs. The third one is an aggressive challenge and a rapid deployment of new technologies. As we have already explained, especially in digital technology, the cycle from the start of consideration to the feedback of the result is very fast compared to conventional technologies. So we would like to support smooth implementations of such new technologies without delay. To do that, 
we need to work together and advance our understanding rather than waiting for results. So we will accompany front runners who take risks and are willing to take on such challenges. Then we built a new system or establish a new regulation using knowledge and technologies obtained from those challenges to support they can be used widely as quickly as possible. Based on these three policies, we developed the digital grand design. We introduce again the class NK digital grand design 2030 here. This design shows what we should be looked like in 2030. We described it based on policies and results of considerations that I showed in previous slides. As you have seen, it is made as a single picture. We will explain each content in following slides but I just introduce the structure here. This grand design consists of a catchphrase, a basic policy, three functional pillars, and two bases that support them. On the background, three large arrows are drawn representing a big flow to realize sustainable evolutions of maritime industries and ocean-related businesses through the outputs of three functional pillars. Besides the three arrows represent our contributions to wider maritime industries beginning with its challenge with front runners, and continuing through its expansion into and then out of the maritime industries. From next slide, we will explain about each content. At first, here is the basic policy and the catchphrase written at the top. As we mentioned in the previous slide, the basic policy of the design is that we contribute to evolutions and sustainable growths of marine businesses, by enhancing the competitiveness of our various businesses using digital technology to make them more advanced and efficient. From that basic policy, we decided to use, creating innovation for a blue economy, as the catchphrase for the design. Blue economy is a concept that aims to achieve economic growth through the sustainable use of marine resources. It aims for sustainable developments of the entire planet but it mainly focuses on the ocean, that is the reason for its adoption to our design. Next, we would like to explain three functional pillars in turn. Let me start with, advanced surveys. This means we will further rationalize and enhance our inspections and evaluation abilities which have developed over the year, both in terms of human resources and technologies. We consider these abilities are very important because it is necessary to realize the other two functional pillars. So, both inspection and evaluation abilities are focused here. These are examples. For inspections, we will enhance its ability using technologies of artificial intelligence and a condition diagnosis, and at the same time, we will reduce an on-site workload using remote technologies. For evaluations and certifications, we will provide the services in cyberspace instead of physical works utilizing various data and simulation techniques. Next one is, create a progressive business environment. This means we will create an environment including regulation, to help such businesses that focused on the sustainability run smoothly. Particularly in the class business, we will promote establishments of new rule systems and evaluation methods which are suitable for digital technologies. Besides, we will also promote the implementation of rules to software and the ensuring of cybersecurity. At this pillar, we will provide an environment to accommodate not only front runners but also followers who want more conventional processes. And also we deploy and inform advanced technologies for followers. The last one is, third-party certification and evaluation and rating. We plan to strengthen our abilities of certifications and evaluations as a third-party organization, to promote healthy competitions by utilizing the knowledge we have obtained from the other two pillars. At this pillar, in addition to conventional assessments such as it can form or not, we conduct a variety of assessments to extend our certification services to rating services, and then gradually widen the region of these assessments. Finally, I introduce two bases to carrying out the design. The first one is the development of human resources who has both of the maritime domain and the IT knowledge. Not just human resources in the advanced maritime domain, we will work to develop and recruit human resources with high IT literacy. The other one is a consolidation of the accumulated data and knowledge. The image of this is expanding the data platform, as we are doing with the Internet of Ships open platform. Besides, we will collect a wide variety of data that is not limited to ships, and improve infrastructures to utilize them. 
Realizing these bases, we will accelerate the activity of three main functional pillars. That is all the introduction of the digital grand design. Finally, we would like to conclude the presentation and introduce a roadmap briefly. In this presentation, we have explained about Class NK Digital Grand Design 2030. Let us summarize the content. Looking ahead to 2030, we are building three functional pillars. The first one is to contribute to the further improvement of safety and efficiency, by providing advanced and rational classification services based on the use of data. The second one is to support the realization of the changes in society caused by digital technology, and new challenges by developing flexible environmental aspects. The third one is to create new value in the maritime and ocean-related business by encouraging new challenges, such as integrated logistics services on land and sea. With these pillars, we are committing to support continued evolutions of our customers' ocean-related businesses. To realize this grand design, we have created a roadmap to proceed with the project. I will show you a brief overview of the roadmap at the end. The roadmap is still under development, but it is categorized into three pillars shown in the design. Some items such as condition-based maintenance are related to the two areas of the advanced surveys and the progressive business environment, but they are not duplicated and are listed in one area. On this map, three pillars of the design are listed on the left side, then sub-items are listed at the next. At the remaining side, concrete items are listed for the period from 2020 to 2030. For example, the map shows the use of AI technology and robot technology will be realized by 2025. This page shows the contents related to pillars of advanced surveys and create a progressive business environment. Here is a map related to the pillar of third-party certification and evaluation and rating. As mentioned, this is still under development but we will explain the detail of this map at another opportunity. That's all for the presentation. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for taking your precious time. Uh, if you have any comment, question, and suggestion for collaboration, please feel free to send us a message to this address. Thank you again for visiting us today. Goodbye.